Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and I, I'm just gonna say now, this video is not gonna be about the reunion in the last episode for season 11, because straight up, I was bored. I'm gonna be honest, the reunion was fine, there were some cute moments, but there was no drama, which is really what we want in a reunion. They didn't discuss the whole Sherry Pie situation, which is really what I was watching for, so I'm not really gonna talk about that. Obviously... Next week, I will discuss the finale when Jada wins, <laughs> because clearly, hello. But today, I'm going to be talking about the official cast for RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 5, Cinco. And so the first queen into the workroom is, of course, the most anticipated queen of the season, none other than the legend herself, the Chicago motherfucking icon, Shay Kool-Aid. I mean, what can I even say about Shay that has not been said by literally everybody? If she doesn't at least make it to the top three, this whole thing is rigged. This look coming into the workroom is just absolutely stunning. I love the white with the pastel blue against her skin tone. I don't know where I heard it, but somebody said that this fabric was her DragCon booth last year, so that way it seemed familiar to the people who met her at DragCon, which is obviously a great idea. Shea Coulee had four challenge wins on season 9, and realistically, if they had the old format, would have won season 9. I, along with everybody else, am very excited to see what Shea is going to bring. The next girl in the workroom is Miss Cracker, again, somebody who was highly anticipated and another queen who I personally love. I think Miss Cracker is stunning, she is hilarious, and she also always brings fabulous looks. Just an all-around all-star, for sure. Same with Shea kool -Aid. I mean, if Miss Cracker is not in the top three, then what the fuck is going on? I'm trying to think. I can't really remember how many challenges she won on season 10. It may have only been, like, one or two, even if that. I feel like she was Susan Lucci a lot. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. And I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but I personally think she should have stayed and been top four over Cameron Michaels. I don't know if it's just me, but, you know. Miss Cracker's look entering the workroom is quintessential Cracker. She has on gorgeous pastels. Obviously, feathers are really in right now. She's on trend. I'm sure she styled that wig herself. It looks coiffed and perfect. Yes. And then we have Poriqua in the house, Miss Alexis Mateo. Bam! Now, this is how you wear a leotard on RuPaul's Drag Race. It is a gorgeous leotard with a lot of detail, it fits her perfectly, and then this giant organza ruffle coat that she has on over it is sickening, no? Now, Alexis is, in my opinion, kind of a wild card for this season. I don't know how she's gonna do. She, uh, she may go home really early, she may go home in the middle, she may make it all the way to the end. Whatever happens, I really won't be shocked. She's a strong competitor, but she is a little bit more old school, so we'll see how the judges feel about her drag now. Like, I'm sure Michelle would not be happy if she saw what she wore into the entrance workroom because it was a leotard even today. But whatever. I'm excited for Alexis either way. Last season we had a trans queen. This season we have an AFAB queen, Miss Blair St. Clair, coming in looking like a literal biological woman. Like, come on, she has a vagina. Let's just be real in this orange, in this like 80s orange power suit. Oh my god, she looks so gorgeous. Obviously she's got on her human hair wigs. I'm sure she made that wig herself and everything. She probably dyed it too. Blair on season 10, I wasn't obsessed with. She was cute. She did okay, but I wasn't, com you know, I wasn't totally obsessed. I understand why she's on All Star. <laughs> Excuse me. I understand why she's on this season of All Stars. Her music did super well after her season. So I get why she earned her place in All Stars. It wasn't necessarily because she did amazing on season 10, but after the show, she has really shown that she is a force to be reckoned with. Again, like Alexis, I really have no idea how Blair is going to do this season. If she makes it to the finale, I will not be that shocked, but I'll be very happy. If she goes home in the middle, I, again, really won't be shocked, but... We will see. After Blair St. Clair, we have none other than Mariah Paris Balenciaga, a.k.a. Mariah Successful, a.k.a. Mariah that bitch, whatever, I don't know. I'll just be straight up right now. This entrance look is probably my least favorite. It's just kind of hard to follow. There's a lot going on. 
I feel like the pastel pink kind of clashes with the colors and the corset. And if I was wearing that full bodysuit, I would not wear a full booty. I don't know, I'm not obsessed with this look, I'll just be honest. But on the other hand, I am obsessed with Mariah. Mariah is sickening, she is so charismatic and funny, she has some great reads, she's very witty and quick. I feel like most people kind of just know her now from doing episodes of Fashion Photo Review. I'm actually very, very excited to see Mariah on this season. I thought she was going to be on All Stars 2, to be honest. I'm shocked it's taken this long. But mm, I don't really see her making it extremely far. But I'm still excited to see what she'll do. And then we have another Season 3 girl after Mariah. Whew. India Farah. Definitely wearing my favorite of all the entrance looks. If I could have any of them in my closet, this would be the one that I would want. But I would want the back to say, like... Cocor, I don't know, something that not old school. I don't, know, I don't know, but it works for her. I mean, India is really a wild card. She didn't do too well on season three. She wasn't extremely memorable. She kind of underperformed throughout the few episodes she was there. But her runway looks were always stunning. She is one of the best look queens from Drag Race, in my opinion. That drag is very my style. I love that everything but the kitchen sink kind of look. I'm obsessed. Again, I, I really don't know how far India's gonna go. I hope she makes it far because I want to see more of India. She is such a wild card and I'm super excited to see what she brings this season. Then Baby, after India, we have the real winner of the season, in my opinion. The queen herself, Juju B, all the way from season two. And All Stars 1, of course. I think Juju is definitely one of the most universally beloved queens. I've never heard anybody say anything about anything negative about Juju except maybe something about her outfits being too pedestrian. <laughs> Manila All-Stars 1. And yes, sometimes her outfits may be a little bit mall drag, a little bit pedestrian, but that's just not the drag queen that Juju B is. She isn't one of those like fierce eleganza extravaganza kind of bitches, you know? She's she's a comedy queen and she'll read you the house down. Is your barbecue cancelled? Yes or no? After B, we have Derek Barry, and I mean, Mariah had my least favorite look, but this was just my least favorite presentation of all the entrances. I mean, what can I say about this that hasn't already been said by everybody online? I don't want to be mean, so I'm just gonna move on to the next person, which is Mayhem Miller, but I guess that's not really a good option if I don't want to be mean, because... Baby. I was watching the All-Stars 5 entrances and all of a sudden I said, That looks familiar! Obviously, the elephant in the room is Mayhem's leotard, which is a $25 leotard from Amazon that literally every single queen has. Not to mention, she decides to wear a pair of boots and these gloves with it, which really just make her look short and stubby and it cuts her off. I'm not a fan at all. Mayhem, you know, I enjoy mayhem. I'm not obsessed. I don't dislike her. But people really went in and read her for filth for this entrance look. And I personally think that your entrance look is more important than your finale look. This is what the, like, this is going to be what mayhem will be remembered for forever, is this shitty red leotard. And then she went on a whole rant on Instagram, like, people are mad because it's relatable, blah. No, that's not, no, girl. We're mad because if we wanted to see that, we could have went on Amazon and got it ourselves. We're watching All Stars because we want to see the looks that the girls are bringing, that they made with all their new money and with their new designers. So it's just a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, well, oh my god, I cannot believe I forgot to talk about Angina. I feel so bad. She finally made it on All Stars and I couldn't even talk about her. Angina, I'm sorry, girl. Obviously, you guys, I'm so excited to see Angina. She looks fucking gorgeous in her workroom. I did Google the character Darna, and I did not see anything like this, so I am a little confused. But that aside, she looks fucking thickening. This outfit is insane. And, I mean, I I'm so excited. I hope she kills it. And then the other elephant in the room, obviously, is the format change for this season of All Stars. They're not going to be, like, voting each other out the same. They're gonna have the winner lip-sync against an all-star who's not on that all-star season. It's a little bit confusing to explain, but I think it's gonna shake it up. I think it's gonna be very exciting. They definitely needed a format change. 
after the after the mess that happened on All Stars 4, I think that they really wanted to avoid something like that happening again. But I'm very excited. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm more excited about All Stars than the regular seasons now. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And then also, while you're in the comments, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you didn't like it, go ahead and dislike it. And go ahead and tell me in the comments why you didn't like it. G leave me the most hateful comment you could possibly think of. Baby, I need the engagement. It's okay. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't be talking shit because I'm going to be in the same look for my next video because I'm about to film my reaction to the Drag Race Canada Meet the Queens, which is super exciting. So make sure that you guys go check that out. It'll be up mm, two days after this, whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.